Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the Note Closer Show. As always, Scott Carson, excited to be here today. Today's Monday, 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 Monday in the office, and it is Happy Columbus Day. I know a lot of people have the day off. Banks are closed. Uh, this is one of the uh, holidays that I would enjoy when I was a banker because we had basically a three-day weekend. Couldn't really do something. Sometimes we'd go in, sometimes we wouldn't. You'd just get caught back up in work. But a lot of times, people would take it as the, the bank holiday. We would be off, and it was kind of nice. But it's, um, it's a working day for the entrepreneurs out there getting things done out there. But today, <clears throat> um, it's good to be back in Austin after being out of of uh, Austin most of last week in San Diego for the Magnify Your Wealth Summit and uh, Aaron Young's Inner Circle. And big shout out to Aaron Young. Always uh, excited to hang with him, Michelle, Megan Cole, Brett Busquet, Kevin Day, and the whole uh, whole troop that runs the Laughlin and Associates aspect of things. So just a, it's a great crew. Really enjoy hanging with them. Uh, great group of people. It was great to see Paul Cooper, Lynn Mitchell, just to name a few of our, uh, you know, our our <clears throat> students that are out there at the event because it's such a powerful and magnifying event to really help you with your assets and help you with your asset protection on your assets. And so I wanted to take a little bit because <clears throat> and just thank Aaron. I, I love it. You know, uh, Laughlin Associates is a uh, is a proud sponsor here of us, and we are a proud sponsor of them. So just excited here. <clears throat> just to hang hang with them. It's it, and it's always when you leave the office for a couple of days. I always worry about okay, things will get done, things get done fine. It may not be as fast on my emails or my voicemails, but things still get done. And uh, we are excited. It was nice to come back and spend a little time, you know, flying, brainstorming some things. And we've got some great things that we're working on that we're putting into place now for next year. And we'll share some of that in a minute here with you guys. But more importantly. I wanted to talk a little bit because I was talking with some people out there and it's amazing. You have so many <clears throat> great entrepreneurs and, and one of the, the things that Aaron does with his inner circle, his two day inner circle thing is he likes to get everybody in a couple round circles and go inside, you know, person by person what their biggest hurdles are, what their biggest difficulties are, what are they struggling with and trying to have everybody else in the group or in the circle help them out with it. I think it's really valuable to have a, a group like that where you can reach out to. It's, it's a safe situation where people are sharing some of their hurdles, some of their difficulties, and then also gaining insight and wisdom from those that are actually as entrepreneurs out there, give them ideas how to make something done. And some of the things are, are, are simple. One person was looking for some help finding the right type of employees for her trucking company, people that were owner operators and simple hey, Google search, boom, here's a list, get taken care of. Other people are, are dealing with hiring and firing. Other people are dealing with raising capital. Other people are doing trying to launch a product, so they need help with marketing. And so <clears throat> that's kind of where I came in was the marketing expert out there and, and some real estate savviness to everybody out there and their branding aspect of how to help them kind of brand themselves and stand out from the competition and help them do some right things. Because let's face it, if we if you aren't used to marketing or used to branding yourself, when you leave a J-O-B to launch something yourself, it's difficult, <clears throat> downright difficult sometimes. And honestly, the reason I, I bring up branding is that really ties into your ability to, as a real estate entrepreneur, to be able to raise capital to stand out from the audience. It really is important aspect of what you're doing in your branding and your marketing, like we do here, pretty good with the green and the, the logo. <clears throat> of course, the logo for the podcast and with the logo down here in the corner, oh, other corner here. <laughs> and then, of course, the if you're looking for more information, text the word notes to 72000 to learn more about note investing on the screen if you're watching. If you're listening to that, obviously if you'd like more information about notes, just text the word notes to send 2000 and it helps you guys get branded into this or helps our brand helps you uh, get signed to get more information. And it's always funny too. I uh, <laughs> I crack up a little bit as people, I was starting to get text messages and, and people were getting text messages and, and emails from people like, is Scott okay? Because I didn't do an episode. I did one episode when I was out in San Diego because I was really committed to being there with Aaron and, and, and really diving and sharing my wisdom <clears throat> and my knowledge and my counsel with everybody that was there. So it's good to be back. Uh, it was great to see Aaron Young, Ingrid, uh, Wakas as well with the Quest IRA crew out there as well. Uh, hang with them, visit with them a little bit and, and, and nice as well there. But what I want to get at more so than anything, if you're raising capital, you're looking to raise capital for your business or for your deals. I know so many people get excited about the deal aspect, okay? <clears throat> and good deals raise capital. It's just, it's a truth, it's a fact. 
out there. But there are some other ways to raise capital. And literally, that's the subject of tonight's Note Night in America, is some of the ways to raise private capital. All right. Uh, and we'll go through more of that today. But I wanted to touch on this episode a little bit more. And you can check out that out. That episode, uh, if you're listening to this in iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, since we're now on Spotify, which is awesome. If you want to listen to that episode, <clears throat> just go on over to Note Night in America podcast. You'll be able to download that episode as well uh, that we're doing tonight at 7 p.m. Central. But what we're getting at is there are some simple ways to really raise capital. And I was talking with investors about it, and I know it, it seems like common sense to me because I do it on a regular basis, and it seems like Greek or Latin to others because they've never done that before. Like I was talking with this, uh, these two ladies that were raising, looking to raise some capital, and I said, "Okay, what are you doing?" They're like, "Well, <clears throat> we've got a, uh, we got a fund for just accredited investors only." And I said, "Okay, who have you raised capital from so far?" "Oh, friends and family." I'm like, "Okay, have you marketed?" "Oh, our partner says we can't do that because the SEC says, well, no, you can do it.' But let's just talk about some of the easiest ways first and foremost for you to raise capital." And I shared with them a very simple way, just jumping on the county records and looking for people who have used their self-directed IRA before. Many of you have heard me talk about that before. <clears throat> Previous coaching call. It's the easiest way to find IRA investors who have pulled the trigger in the county, um, you know, and use their IRA. And often, what, what do you often have in common with them? Well, you're both real estate investors. They've got money, and you know they pulled the trigger. They're also a little bit smarter because the fact is, they have a self-directed IRA uh, with either Quest or some other uh, custodian out there. Okay, but there, there are some sources out there. When I brought up a couple of websites. They're like, I've never heard of that before, <clears throat> which I can understand. So I brought up this one of the easiest ways to raise capital. If you're listening to this, you're watching this, let me, if you're watching this, give me now, give me a thumbs up or hey, good morning, whatever, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is that you're listening to this, because this is one of the most valuable ways to raise capital. Okay. Myself have done it. Uh, a couple of my guests and students like Adam Adams, Wayne Snell, a few others have done it <clears throat> as well. And it's a very easy way to identify people. What you do is you go to biggerpockets.com. You get signed up there. Yes, you pay for this website. You wouldn't get the, the membership to it, the 99 bucks, because having the free version doesn't really help you in any form or fashion. Go to Bigger Pockets. All right. <clears throat> go to Bigger Pockets and type in the keywords SDIRA, 401k, SD, or self directed IRA. A variety there. It's going to ask you for some keywords. <clears throat> good morning, uh, Tadio. Good to see you. Good morning, Levi Rudder. Good morning, Clifton. Good to see you guys watching. So this is really simple. So if you go to Bigger Pockets <clears throat> and you put those keywords in there, you'll start getting notices of people who have responded to that. Good morning, Kathy, Catherine Brennan. Glad to have you as well. So People will put in their comments there, you know, and they'll post me, hey, I got 50K in an IRA or 50K in a 401K I'm rolling over. What should I do with it? And I laugh because I'm like, okay, you're just literally paying a big target on your chest, those investors. Okay. Now, that's just getting the alerts is, is the first thing, but it really doesn't help you unless you take it one step further. All right. Good morning, Gene Norton. <clears throat> Easy. Gene's going to love this. So the biggest thing out there that I would tell you guys is to make sure that you put some sort of package together, some sort of due diligence package or some more information about your, your business. And there's some really good things that I'd highly recommend you do when you reach out to these individuals. Now, I wouldn't necessarily go on and, and reply to their comment and say, give them the whole idea of what you can do. What I would simply do is say, hey, you got some options for you. We thought about maybe not performing notes. <laughs> and but then send them a private message and this is this is really a cool cool thing that you'll like out there very easy to do if you take a short video talk about some of the projects you've worked on some of the projects you've completed it doesn't always have to be notes it could be fixing flips it could be uh you know some rentals that you've done put something together that's easy enough to talk about who you are as a real estate investor okay more stuff to goodman pretty easy to do <clears throat> Now, what's that mean? Well, basically, you maybe you film a short PowerPoint. Put a PowerPoint, do a quick little 30 minute. Hey, here's what we do. Here's what uh, Good Journey Investments is all about. Here's what about Straight Arrow Investments is all about. Here's some of the projects that we've done that we're all about. Here's what we're doing with OPM, with other people's money. Let's, let us help put your money to work. 
for you, okay? And the beautiful thing about that is it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to have a long discussion with them. What you, I, the idea is, hey, I, I may, maybe you might want to think about doing non-performing notes or notes or something like that. I'm going to send you a private message talking about our, our uh, business. And the reason I recommend this, because I've done this before, still do it, is that some of our most successful students have done this, and they've raised enough capital from doing this on a regular basis to really help them not really stop. I don't, I'll say this. They're not really marketing having to market for money anymore. They're comfortable. They've done enough deals. They're living gracefully off the deals they've got. Um, they're not very aggressive on new deals because they've done such a great job raising capital and they've got cash flow coming in. They're at a really great comfort level, which is phenomenal. They're waiting for the right deals to come along, okay? which is what everybody roots for. But I guarantee if you do this, put a little Zoom webinar or be live or a Facebook live, even just talking about what you do, and maybe not Facebook live because they're not able to share a PowerPoint with it. But do, using like GoToWebinar or Zoom to record a quick little PowerPoint presentation, 10, 20 slides about some of your deals, and you're rocking and rolling. Now, we had Sal Buscemi on uh, about two weeks ago uh, talking about raising private capital for commercial lending. He provided a really great uh, track, you know, uh, or I should say not track, but uh, uh, PowerPoint deck to help you with pitching. It, it, it was like a fill in the gap that you'd use it as a guide. I would use something very similar to that and use that to raise your capital and use that as your base point, kind of 10 slide, 15, maybe 20 slides is the max about what your business is and some of the deals that you're doing and what you're doing in no business. And this is really simple. You film it once, film it once or twice, probably film it once to get the good thing, throw it out there. Second time you film it, you record it, you'll be a lot better than you do the first time. What you don't want to do is be doing um, 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 throughout your presentation. So film it once, go back and watch it, <clears throat> and you'll pick up a lot of great pointers about what you do. And take notes on your presentation, because that's the only way you're going to get But one reason I have been successful at raising a lot of capital for doing presentations and speaking, because I've done it hundreds of times. I think when I'm going on thousandth plus time of speaking, and that's not only publicly, but also group setting, but also like webinars and, and podcasts. So thing is, the more you, get, you talk about your business, the more comfortable you'll be, the better you'll be at it as well. And that only comes from experience and failing and bombing. <laughs> Trust me. There have been times I have bombed speaking uh, or bombed on webinars, <clears throat> but it was still great practice. Uh, there was times early on when I did a webinar and there might be five people on it. I said, okay, I got to look at this as an opportunity to hone my craft. And so... One of the things I did early on, I was actually at an event in San Francisco, a big, supposed to be a big summit. There was like 20 people there. I was really disappointed. And so I was like, okay, there was four, basically four people in my workshop. I was the big workshop speaking that weekend at that expo. Four people. I brought in some vendors and they sat down and heard me speak for the first time. So I had about eight to 10 people in the room. And then we did the smart thing and live streamed it as well. And that live stream got to 400 people. So I used that opportunity to spread it out. Well, I raised capital from that. I got some students from that. The thing I want to get at is I see people not doing a lot of this. I see some people doing it and they've done it well and they raise capital. Okay. What is frustrating is when people, I can't raise capital. I don't want to worry out sharing your message. You're sharing your story, sharing who you are and what your message is, what your drive is, what your why is, why are you doing what you do? Why are you so passionate about it? It will drive traffic. It'll drive capital. It'll ultimately drive deals to you as well from the people that surround you. So I want to open it up for anybody that's watching out there on Facebook land, Facebook live this morning. If you have any questions about it. now, I'll spend more time diving into this on Note Night in America <clears throat> tonight at 7 p.m. Central. Uh, hopefully you can register for it. Love to have you. All right. <clears throat> Julianne, you got to love that. That's awesome. <clears throat> and you can register for Note Night in America by texting the word NIGHT to 72,000 as well. All right. Let's put that up. I'm uh, messing around. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry here. Anyway, um, beautiful thing, guys. 
But raising capital, it's one of the easiest things to do. Now, another thing that's really easy to do. Okay. <clears throat> so Jenny asked the question here. Good morning, Jenny Ryder from Lowe. says, hey, Scott, can you clarify the programs you use to integrate slideshows with your live recorded video? I'm looking at Zoom website and don't see anything like that. So that's a great point there, Jenny. What you have to do is if you get Zoom, you have to add the webinar feature to it, the feature. What I would recommend that you do with zoom.us is just pick up the phone and call them. Tell them what you're trying to do. Call them. You don't need the a huge version of Zoom because they have a lot of packages that can go from very being inexpensive to very expensive. If you're doing like tens of thousands of single people. But just literally the webinar aspect of things, you're going to want to add that to your zoom.us aspect as an as add-on to it. So just give them a phone call, Jenny. They can walk you through it. Great customer service over at Zoom. <clears throat> Uh, Alex asked the question, I'd like to partner with investors higher up the food chain uh, that can buy larger pools from funds. What's the best way to do it? Just talking with people, Alex, but also being, uh, I actually, I'm glad you listened to that. Um, just talking to people, you know, um, and maybe not wanting too much. I know I've had some investors call me that people have called and said, oh, I want 15, 20% of their money, you know, a return on investment of their money. I'm like, that's fine. You're not for me then. Okay. Uh, it's also important to keep in mind what the market is. Somebody's going to do all the heavy lifting for you, and you're just being a passive investor. You know, making ten to uh, ten to twelve, maybe fifteen percent is not that bad. But if that's the case, uh, if you're going to be a passive investor, you may just want to look at performing notes <clears throat> at a fifteen yield. Unless you're going to do a lot of the work yourself, do a lot of heavy lifting. If you're just basically a passive investor for the most part. Uh, you, you, you know, 12% is a pretty good return on investment that you're not going to find in most places, other places. Yeah, you may have peaks, and, and but you're going to also have a lot of values. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm making 30% return on my seconds. That's great. When was the last time you bought something? Uh, six months ago. <laughs> okay. So that's the thing to keep in mind <clears throat> is, is where's the market at? I know what we've talked, which is great. Um, and we'll talk some more about some things. But I, I see that from other people out there like, oh, look, if you're not going to do a heavy lifting, a passive return because money is really cheap out there. There's a lot of capital out there. So if somebody comes to me and says, oh, I want a 20% return plus 20% of the profits. I'm like, there's no reason to even talk anymore because you're too expensive. I can find a lot cheaper money in the market out there versus having to really kind of chain myself to a, a huge albatross in that aspect of things. So hopefully that makes sense, Alex, out there. But best thing you can do, uh, you, if you Zoom or go to webinar, like I said, mentioned this before, take some time. Take a PowerPoint presentation, record it, throw it up on YouTube, throw it up on Vimeo. If you use Vimeo, throw it up on Facebook, but save it somewhere where you can share that video over and over and over again to people that mention that they're looking for something. Now, you can use that same, same process on LinkedIn. There's a lot of LinkedIn groups that have some really large members of commercial investing or note investing or distressed assets or private investors lists. <clears throat> Take the time to go ahead and do the same thing. Leave a comment there, maybe upload your video to it. Um, LinkedIn groups are a little bit less aggressive. Uh, unlike bigger pockets, bigger pockets, if you're promoting your business or anything like that, they're gonna shut down or delete that message or delete that post. But if you share it as a private message, you'll be fine. You just can't share the same message with more than 12 people in one day. Otherwise they'll, they'll flag you for spamming and you don't wanna do that. Now what's another thing to do as well is take that same presentation and go to some different meetup groups out there. Said, hey, I've got some deals I'm working on. <clears throat> Would love to talk with you guys if anybody's interested in putting their money to work on some, you know, some short term. And short term is 12 to 24 months. We're not talking 30 years, like a lot of people initially think in the nut business. 12 to 24 months is a, a plenty of time to get some deals done and also really make some great returns for you and your investors out there as well whether it's passive or aggressive. Oh, Jeffrey Wolf, you really shared a really good nugget there. I've had success posting in apartment investor groups. That is a golden nugget out there. Hang on a second. <clears throat> the wolf man comes to the table with a nugget there. Hang on. What's so great about apartment investment groups? Well, a lot of apartment investors... Uh, understand that there's not a lot of value add stuff. A lot of people are overpaying for apartments right now and they don't want to do that. So they still have capital to invest <clears throat> and still want to be in a passive investment. So great nugget there, Jeffrey Wolf. Love it. Wolfman. Oh, <laughs> for sharing in that, whether it's on Facebook, 
or LinkedIn. That's a really great aspect of things out there to, to share it as well. That's really, really great idea. Love that idea, Jeff Wolf. All right. So that's a couple good ideas there for you. <clears throat> it all starts though with you sharing your message. Now, I'm much more happier. I'm much more happier. I'm much happier, I should say, sharing it with one, doing it one time and sharing it with a thousand people versus doing one and one and one and one. Now, the idea is sharing it once to a thousand people and then leading to one on one conversations where they're interested, but versus going one to a thousand conversations and never getting, <clears throat> having an effective time in finding uh, investors out there that can really do something for you. So. But uh, we are working on some uh, stuff there for those of you that are interested. We've got some great deals that we have uh, been working through the last couple of weeks and uh, are excited to announce some stuff here in the next few days on some things. Uh, also, <clears throat> I want to give a big shout out to all our fans out there. Uh, very surprising. We've, we've, we have found fans in other parts of the country. I had somebody on the plane on my last Monday uh, recognized me and said that, you know, they listened to the show, which was kind of funny, um, from Austin to San, San Diego. And so that was really kind of great. So we have decided to come up with an ambassador, print, uh, uh, ambassador program for our brand ambassadors. Those that love what we do, that want to be a bigger part and want to share their love and even make a little bit of dough along the way, we'll be announcing a new uh, brand ambassador program here in the next couple of days. So stay tuned, check in your emails, check them out because we'll be able to announce you some cool stuff over the next couple of days as we finalize those things here relatively shortly. But once again, guys, if you're interested in getting more information on the uh, webinar tonight, go just text the word NIGHT, N-I-G-H-T to study 2000 or text notes to Sunday 2000. You can get registered that way as well. We'll send a link out. <clears throat> but tonight's all about raising private capital. Uh, in some creative ways for you and pretty easy to do. So very, very easy to do tonight at 7 p.m. Central. So hopefully you guys have had a great day. Uh, enjoy your Columbus Day uh, holiday. Um, go out, make something happen. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all tonight at 7 p.m. Otherwise, we'll see you all. Stop, everybody.